Hello amazing artists, it's Miss Leatherwood here. Today we are going to learn how primary colors work together to make secondary colors by using a color spinner. These are all the supplies you're gonna need to make your color spinner. You're gonna need some crayons or markers or colored pencils or oil pastels, really anything will do. I'm gonna use crayons. You're gonna need some really thin cardboard like the type that you find on a cereal box. I'm using a cardboard from a corn can box of canned corn. You're going to need some glue. Glue stick will absolutely work. This is just all I had on hand. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need the color spinner printout from your essential area learning at home kit. So once you gather all of those things together, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to color the color spinner and you can see that it's marked what colors you are doing where. All right, so make sure that you find the crayon color that is actually red, yellow, and blue. You don't wanna find the ones that say indigo or cerulean because those will turn out to be the wrong colors. So get, find your red, yellow, and blue. Then you're gonna start coloring them in. Again, it doesn't matter what you color them with. What does matter is that you color bright and bold. I know a lot of times people tend to color in really lightly. And while that works a lot of the time for this project, you really want to have bright, bold colors. So you're going to want to press down really good. Also make sure that when you are coloring, you want to make sure you're coloring the Miss Leatherwood way. Your arm isn't going all over the place. You're not going out of the lines you wanna make sure that you are really coloring nicely and smoothly and bright and bold. I really think it's also a very good idea to go to all of the colors at the same time. So for example, right now I am using red, so I'm gonna color in all of the boxes that say red on the entire thing, then I'm gonna to go to my next color. Also, when you are pressing down really hard with a crayon or a colored pencil, it's gonna tire your hand out. You guys, do not be so super hard on yourself. Take a break, let your hand rest, go back to it. I know you guys want to make this perfect, but you totally can take a break. You have all week to get this done. This is the part of the video where you probably are expecting music. If Miss Leatherwood was better at making videos, we would have some kind of really cool music to listen to while you watch me color this in. So instead, I'm going to sing to you. La 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 la, I'm coloring in a color spinner. Now don't be letting Miss Squirrel know how amazing my singing voice is. She'll be super jealous. Okay, now that I have my color wheel, my color spinner um, colored in, I'm gonna cut it out using my scissors. Remember you wanna open your scissors up wide and put the paper that you're cutting back in the back like you're chomping on a hamburger. You wouldn't nibble on that hamburger with the front of your teeth. You wanna get it all the way back in your molars. That way your cuts are nice and smooth. All right, so I'm gonna throw that away in the trash can. Now I'm going to glue this to my thin piece of cardboard. That way it's not floppy when we go to spin it. So first I'm going to trace it. I'm just gonna use this crayon to trace it. Notice I'm tracing it towards the edge of the cardboard. That's so that I can use the rest of this cardboard later on if I need to. Now I'm gonna cut out my cardboard circle with my scissors. It's gonna be a little bit harder because the medium is thicker. All right, now I'm gonna put my glue on my piece of cardboard. It doesn't take very much glue. Notice I didn't put any glue right in the middle. That's because I am going to want to play with this color spinner right away. And if you put glue right in the middle, you're going to have to wait for it to dry to do the next step. So I'm going to place my paper right on top of my 
cardboard. Okay, so you're gonna want to use either the point of your scissors or a really good solid pin to poke a hole into the middle of your color spinner. And you might need a grown-up's help to do this. All right, so I've got my hole in the middle of my color spinner and now I can stick something in the middle of my color spinner. So I'm gonna stick a pencil All right, so you can see that if I put my hands like this and start to spin, that I can spin and the faster I go, the more my colors blur together to create the secondary colors. You can see the outer ring gets to be purple and the middle gets to be green and the inside gets to be orange. So when you're finished with this, you can put it on a video of you spinning it on Artsonia so that I can see how it went.